hi guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to send out bulk emails through your gmail now this might come in handy for you if you have a small email list of under 1000 emails and you're not ready yet to subscribe to a pro email marketing tool like mailchimp or hubspot or something like that you can use this for a while but you also need to be careful not to send out too much emails using this because gmail has a restriction to the number of emails that you can send but more about that later but for now so what we're going to be using for this is a chrome extension known as mail track so you can just google mail track chrome extension i'll leave a link in the description but if you do a google search you'll see it's this one here you can add this extension to your browser it works best with google chrome i have found but it still works perfectly on opera you can see that i'm using my opera browser so once you have that installed the process of installation is quite easy straightforward and you can now go back to your email and you will see this new um, icon here and it should be um green like this if it's not it will be grayed out you can click on it and make sure that you enable the um mail track um, extension on your gmail right off the bat the functionality that you get with this is to um, know whether or not somebody has read your email just like on whatsapp you would see the double check mark to know if someone has read your email let me quickly go into my sent emails and you see what i mean so you can see these emails um, if i just hover over the green tick marks there you can see to tell me um, when if my email has been read and when it was read so but that's the um, basic functionality but we are trying to send bulk email so i'm going to click on compose so now i'm trying to send a regular email on gmail yeah and you can see the recipient as normal and subject so if i click on recipient right here you can now see there is a tab here that says campaign um i will click on this and you can see it gives me this option to cancel out of the campaign because now i'm in the campaign mode it's not your regular gmail anymore so i can go ahead and impute the email addresses i'm trying to send to one after the other which will be tedious but um what we're going to do is send a personalized email and this also gives you some functionality to customize you know stuff like maybe send out an email that has each person's name differently you know like hi francis hi henry hi david you know stuff like that so let me show you how to do that quickly so now i'm going to click on personalize email i've used this before that's the reason why it took me straight to my um, google sheets but if you've not used this before it's going to prompt you to give access to your google sheets so you can pull up um, email lists that you already have on your google sheets and prior to this uh, as well you want to make sure that you have your email list already arranged like i have some here you can see this is the one i'm going to use for this test it just has my email two of my email addresses in it um, and also if you want to quickly set up an email list you can go to this google developers page i'll leave a link um, to that in the description and you want to scroll all the way down to where it says um, try it and click on make a copy so once you click on this it's going to quickly make a copy of a an email list that you can now edit and with your email um, addresses and name and all of that stuff so that's just to do it quickly so back to our campaign you can see now i can select from my list i can select let's use the test one and i will click on import data so now once i do that it has automatically imported the two emails i told you i have here so if you have up to like 200 emails it does 200 at a time so you can do this up to 1000 but like i told you you want to be careful you don't want to do too many emails this is not something to replace your pro marketing um, email marketing tools okay so if you have somewhere around 200 it, it would be ideal because if you um, abuse this google can actually block your account so you need to use this with caution and i am going to click to add a field now if i click to add a field you can see i have first name last name and all of these tabs you can see here are actually um, columns that i have on this google sheet so you can see i have my first name last name recipient that's the email um, address i have description and other things here but let's say i just want to use um, the first name I can just click on first name. So now once I do that, it puts in this code, um, curly brackets with first name in them. So you can now, I can now go back and type and go to the end and just say comma. And then I can put in my, my um, message. If I had 200 emails in this list, what's going to happen is, as I've said, hi, first name is now going to pull up the first names in that list and say like, hi, um, Francis, like I told you, hi, Henry, you know, and on and on. So this is a very cool functionality and I don't have to do this, you know, every single, in every single email, one after the other. So let me quickly put in an, an, a message. I have put in a short message there. Of course, you want to actually put your proper email that you're going to send 
to whoever yours or the people that you're sending this to i can click on continue and send out this email and now it can it would prompt me to um either do a test or send the campaign straight up it's also letting me know here that i'm about to send a campaign to two recipients so if i had 200 it's going to say i'm sending to 200 okay so but i'm just going to go on and send the campaign i am doing a test already so i'm going to go to this email here so this is one of the emails that i have in the test there and you can see here that i have received that email the other email that i've also sent this to will also receive the same thing but it's going to say their name in fact let me quickly show you that email right now so this is the second email and you can see here it has a different name it says hi francis i just want to so you see the first name is completely different it has my th this person's name and this one as well has this person's name and if i go to the google sheets that is actually providing the information you can see here that um, the names are the first names are what i'm using my name and my surname you can see that's what i'm using there and that's what it's pulling out those things from so if you have um, a 200 emails here with different names it's going to um, personalize that email with each person's first name if you select first name and last name as well it's going to select the first name and last name um, send the email to them very personally so that's why this is just amazing and the last feature is actually you can track if the emails have been read so you can see these were the ones i did in testing before i actually did this video and now you can see here um, that it says this one has not been read yet maybe because i have not actually um let's do this and see um i get all the features now so i think yes it should show now that it's been read so let's go back and you can see now it's red it's all green and it's letting me know that it was read just less than a minute ago you can track that from here you can see once it goes double green it's been read so again use this with caution i would advise if you have a small email list of about 200 emails or somewhere around 500 then you can use this and stay safe but if you have a thousand and above this is not something you should be using you should subscribe to a proper email marketing tool if you want to learn how to validate your emails and make sure that all the emails you have in your email list are actually valid and active you want to check out this next video and you are going to learn how to do that thank you guys for being around and watching this video to the very end i'll see you in the next one take care